Hello all, welcome to the DevOps Planet. In this video, we will see how we can create MySQL database over Azure Cloud. So for this, first log in into your Azure account. So I have already logged in. Now in the search bar, type MySQL. So here you will see the service name, Azure Database for MySQL Server. Click on the service name and it will redirect you to the home page of this service. Now here, click on Azure Database for MySQL Server. Now, we need to configure the details. So first we need to select which kind of database we want to create. You want to create Flexible Server or WordPress plus Flexible Server. So I don't need WordPress, so I am going with the Flexible. So click on Create. Here we need to select the subscription. So I am selecting the free trial. And then here need to select the resource group. So resource group is nothing but we can say a logical container or as a project name. So in a resource group, we can create multiple Azure services or resources so that we can segregate them. So if you have, let's suppose two environments, one is production and one is development. So you can create a resource group for the production environment. Similarly, you can create the resource group from the for the dev environments. So that is how you can segregate all your production resources and the development resources. So I'm clicking on create new and I will pass the resource name here. So let's support the resource name is DevOps. And okay, so it will create a new resource group. Now it is asking for the server name. So let me pass the server name. So this server name must be unique. It doesn't allow any duplicate server name or the already existing server name. So we need to take care of this. Then we need to select the region that in which region you want to select our, create our database. So I'm going with the East US. Now here you next you need to select the MySQL version. So I'm going with 8.0. Here you can select the workload type. So by a workload type, you will see that your compute store is changing according to accordingly. So if your development or hobby projects, it will go with this minimum configuration. If you select the business critical workloads, it will increase the configurations and all. So it's completely depend on that via which purpose you are using the service and which purpose you are launching the server. So I'm going with the development. And then availability zone, if you want any preference, so I'm going with the default one. Here you need to pass the credentials. So you need to pass the username, password and confirm password. So username cannot be admin or this is the warning that you cannot pass the Azure underscore super user, admin, administrator, root, guest or public. Apart from this, any username you can select. So I am passing it as admin user. So it has got that. Now we need to cre create a password. So let me type a password on notepad and same we will copy here. So I am generating a random password, copying it and pasting it. Okay, so it says that password must contain character from three of the following categories uppercase lowercase and these so with a special character only these allowed so let me remove them so we can have percent we can have dollar and we can have this also number so let me try this password if that works Yeah, this password worked. So we have this password and uh, username also. Let me note here that is admin user. Now click on networking. So here you need to select that you want to allow it publicly or privately. So if you want to access only within the VPN, you can go with the private. Otherwise, you can go with public. So I will connect this from outside the VPC. That's why I will go with the public. And here you need to add the, add the firewall rule in the security group. So I'm clicking on this one, continue. 
so now this uh, server is accessible publicly if you want to restrict its few IP address then you can pass the IP address here now click on security and then click on tags and then review plus create so here you will see the detailed plan of the uh, mysql server so you can see the uh, compute plus storage the version the name the region and all and also in this box you can see the cost so for the compute sq the cost is this month for the storage the cost is this much and it shows the estimated cost per month so that is how you can uh, configure this now click on create so it says that initializing deployment It is submitting the deployment and now it will start the deployment so it says that deployment is in progress so deployment uh, is nothing but we can say that resource creation has been started so when we create the resources so in azure we called it as a deployment so deployment is started means the resource creation has been started so if i repress it so it says that so first of all it is creating this resource was planet tv this is our database and other resources so it will take almost five to six minutes so i am pausing this video so now you can see the deployment has been completed so click on the go to resource So it has created the MySQL server here. The name is Tavos Planet TV, and here is the server name. So let me copy this. Now let me launch a PowerShell CLI on my system. So I am using MySQL client. So MySQL hyphen U. The username was also user. Hyphen P is for password and hyphen E is hyphen H is for the host name. Press enter. It will ask for the password. So I have the pass password here. Just copy and paste it. Okay, the username was admin user, not as your user. So, okay, let me change the username. So, you see, we have logged in inside the MySQL database. And if I list the database, I can see the database. So, that is how we can create MySQL server in Azure Cloud. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching this.